Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, I wanna talk about the Ulanzi anamorphic lens and using it with the Osmo Mobile 3 and how you can create some very cinematic things using a very simplistic setup. And I'll show you an example of a microfilm that I created using this exact setup. I'm sure that lots of you have seen the Moment uh, anamorphic lens. It's fairly popular. It's also pretty expensive. So this uh, video is gonna be about the Ulanzi uh, 1.33x anamorphic lens. I got this on Amazon for around $50 or so with a couple of add-ons, so it's 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 pretty affordable for you know most anybody uh, that wants to kind of have this anamorphic look. So why would you want an anamorphic lens for your phone? So if you've seen this, you know the widescreen look that you get for your filmic or your cinematic videos, and you'll have the the flares like the J.J. Abrams type, you know uh, Star Trek, Star Wars type sci-fi flares. This lens gives you all of that stuff. So it's an easy way to add it onto your phone to do a little bit of filming and kind of get that look pretty quickly. So what I wanted to do here was use this, you know, pretty inexpensive lens with my iPhone and uh, the DJI Osmo Mobile 3 gimbal to record a little micro film, mainly just because I wanted to get some more practice in and I wanted to do an experiment to see what kind of quality I could get out of my iPhone. All right, so let's get into the box and I'll show you what all comes with this kit. All right, so let's get into the box here. All right, so start with, of course, we have the lens. So you see it's square. So what this does is it actually compresses the image into a square aspect ratio and then you de-squeeze it later. And that's what gives you the widescreen anamorphic effect. And so they provide a front and a rear cover. This rear cover is a little bit difficult to get off, but uh, it does protect it from getting too much lint or anything else inside of it um, when it's in your pocket. Nice and handy. This actually turns um, so that you can make sure that you get this lined up correctly with um, the uh, horizon of your, uh, of your phone. Very important, otherwise you get a very warbly effect. And so uh, one great thing about this lens is that it comes with a clip, so you don't actually have to have a special case. You can use um, their clip mechanism to clip onto whatever type of phone that you have. And so basically, you can screw this into the clip like this. You can clip this onto your phone, and then it can work on whichever lens, however your lens is set up, whatever type of phone you have, this can work with it. You don't have to buy a special case like you do with the Moment lens and with other lenses. So it also comes with this additional clip that you can screw the lens into here and you can clip that onto, you know, if you have a different type of phone, maybe that requires it to be in the middle or something like that, um, an Android phone or something, that would probably work for you. Also comes with a handy cleaning cloth very important to uh, keep the lens clean so that you can get the best image quality as possible. So I decided to go ahead and get the case as well. And so the way that this works is it just has these threads for your uh, two times lens and your one times lens. They don't provide one for the wide lens on the iPhone Max because um, you know it, you would see this bit in that because it's so wide. So you know I will usually just put it onto one of these two. It just threads right in pretty easily. And like I said before, you want to make sure that this part is lined up straight like this so that you know you are you don't want it to be sideways like this. That that would give you some some strange footage. So you always want to make sure that it's square off like this. And like I said with this case, you can put it into either one of these two slots and it works great in both of them. You get kind of a different effect for either one. So if you're gonna use this a lot, I highly recommend just going ahead and getting the case for your phone. It just makes it so much easier to put that in. Although the clip is also very handy if you don't wanna to have to have the case or actually if you have another case that you enjoy, that way you don't have to use their case. Anamorphic lenses in general, make it a little more curved on the sides and it and it's gonna you know um, give you the wide aspect ratio um, and in general you're not gonna have the clearest tack sharp focus 
uh, out of these out of these lenses and this one you especially don't it's it's a little bit grainy as you can see but you know that kind of to me it adds to the look of what you're trying to get by using a lens like this if i wanted you know something that was you know super tack sharp i would use you know a better camera or you know with a better lens this is just something that you can have with you on your iphone and you can get some pretty cinematic or some filmic looking scenes with this especially if you're in a situation where there's lots of lights so you're going to get these flares so this would be great for like you know budget music videos you know or just kind of filming some cinematic things with your friends just kind of goofing around um, obviously I wouldn't use this for any client work or anything serious um, I haven't actually tried the moment lens but the clips I've seen show that it's very similar to this there may be a slight uh, image improvement with the moment lens um, that you don't get out of this one but you know the difference between fifty or sixty dollars and hundred and thirty dollars or so you know you're doubling the price I don't believe that you get double the quality for this type of thing at least not on your phone right the sensor is just too small to be able to really you know to really have any kind of real depth of field or anything like that so you're limited to start with this is a great little add-on it's a cool little um, thing just to kind of change up what your camera footage looks like take some great pictures too you can get those great flares in your pictures um, so about the flares, you know, it looks very comparable to the moment lens from what I can see. Uh, it kind of has the sharp blue flares. I've seen a couple of other lenses that kind of have more of an orange kind of tint to the flares. This one is certainly more on the blue science fiction type of flares, you know, that type of thing that you would see in a sci-fi movie. I really like it actually. It's, it's great for that type of purpose and that's exactly what I would use it for. So another add-on that I got in the kit with, uh, that I bought from Amazon is this, uh, little, uh, it is a 52 millimeter thread adapter and this will actually fit directly onto the lens. So with this 52 millimeter thread you can attach any ND filter to this and that will really help when you're outside with this lens because um, you're going to need something like that if you're trying to do some outside filming of the sun or whatever and you want to get some of those flares to the trees. You're, it's going to look a whole lot better if you can attach an ND filter. In addition to that in the Amazon kit I also ordered these uh, uh, little weights to screw onto the uh, Osmo Mobile. These are actually made by Ulanzi, but lots of other companies make them as well. This was just already um, measured out to match the lens that you're going to put on this. They recommend that you use um, a couple of different apps, the Filmic Pro app or another maybe Pro Video, I think is what it's called. Uh, I actually use the Moment app. It has the de-squeezing already built into it for the uh, anamorphics. So we have it on the phone like this. The moment app loaded so there we go so you see here I've got this little extra handle on my mobile it just kind of helps keep everything steady and also holds a microphone out on this side probably do another video on this whole setup for a beginner filmmaker kit so make sure you leave uh, you know any kind of questions in the comments if you want to know anything more about this type of a setup uh, and I'll be glad to answer any of those kind of questions for you so but anyway I'll show some of this footage just to kind of show what this looks like there. So as you can see we've got the lens, we've got our weights. This works pretty well. This allows you to get those cinematic movements, right? So now that I've shown you about this lens, let me show you a microfilm that I recorded here at my house using this exact setup. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that. Make sure that you subscribe if you like this type of content and want to see more of this. Leave any questions that you have in the comments. I'll be get back to you and answer those, and we'll see you next time.